Kangaroo Care Women and Children Hospitals and Fertility Center. Myself, Dr. Leela Vati from Kangaroo Care, consultant gynecologist, obstetrician, laparoscopic surgeon and infertility specialist and retired professor and unit chief from JSS Medical College and Hospital. Today my topic is STDs. We selected this topic to educate the youngsters because nowadays the STD incidence is rapidly increasing. We, our institution decided to give some, some educational video to public. Hence, today I am talking about STDs. What is STD? As you all know, it is a sexually transmitted disease which transmits from one to another. Nowadays, you all come across premarital sexual contact, live in together, and many multiple sexual partners. So, what are the causes for sexually transmitted disease? For this question, it may be viral, bacterial, or protozoal. What are the symptoms? How you people will who affected to STD will present or suffer. First and foremost is vaginal discharge, which is a bad discharge. You cannot tolerate that discharge. It may be blood stained, fishy odor, or greenish, yellowish, so on. The next symptoms are rashes around your private part, vagina, perineum, buttocks, anal around the anus or anal region. It may be blister, soreness, rashes, ulcers. These are all the presenting complaint or the people who suffer with STD will have these symptoms. What happens if STD is not treated because of some reason? If it ascends infection to the uterus, the woman will suffer from low abdominal pain which is continuous which leads on to some irritability and heaviness in the pelvis etc. This is called chronic pelvic pain. This progresses to affect the tubes that is called fallopian tube which leads on to tubal block. If tubes get blocked Sperm cannot go through the, pass through the tube and meet the egg, so leading on to infertility. Suppose it is partly damaged or blocked, if pregnancy occurs, it will cause tubal pregnancy or ectopic leading on to rupture and shock which is obstetric emergency. Next, if it continues and become pregnant with STD, chances of multiple or recurrent abortions are there. If at all it progresses to term, it is small for gestational age or low weight baby. Thirdly, it may go for or the female may go for premature labor. How it spread? One is sexual contact. Second one is the affected mother which she feeds. It may transmit to the baby through breast milk. Mm -hmm. If at all, it can call, crosses the placental barrier that means mother to the baby which is in the uterus also get affected if at all mother is suffering from STD. It is also spread from skin to skin contact. Suppose if she touches the eye with contact of the skin of an affected person it get affect the eyes also eyes become infected 
The next affection is using the needle which is used by other person. Nowadays, as you all know, doctors or health centers are using disposable syringe. Then you may ask, where is the chance for using needles? Nowadays, you are looking at the television programs, all news or with which is explaining about drug, mafia, etc. Where they use needles, they may share the needles from one to another. Prevention is better than cure. Always have sex with one person or if at all if you have a sex premaritally or live in together use always barrier method that is condoms. You should get educated when to use, how to use etc. Second thing is wash your hands before and after the act. No to smoke and alcohol. Don't involve in sex when you are in under alcohol and drug. If you ask whether we can douche after the act of sex, no, because abrasion already there, it may lead on to fast spread of the organism. If you want to know or if you have a doubt about your friend who is you are planning or you are planning to have a sex, you should sit and talk to him whether he had any sex before or with somebody or if a woman has got sex with before this person then you can sit and convince for getting a investigation done for STD because STD is 100% curable except few which I will explain later then coming to treatment please visit your doctors another one thing I have forgotten is don't google for self medication or home remedies like apple cedar etc should not be used please contact your gynecologist take proper investigation and treatment because most of the STDs are 100% curable as I told you before except two that is HIV and hepatitis that also when I feel some suspicion of acquiring contact your doctor investigate advice should be followed lifestyle should be modified from your habits